Now we have an idea of what to put inside that package is. We just saw the wrapping ideas. Now it's time for the gifts. And we have some budget-friendly ideas in our Thrifty Thursday. Good Day Wisconsin producer Tasha Herman joins us with a really great idea. When did you start doing this? I did this last year as a gift for my sister-in-law, and it's just kind of gone on from there. And what is it? It's a... Um, it's a decoupage plate that you can give as gifts. Um, I have a couple displayed here. Um, so you can really customize it, make it uh, personal, or you can do it for um, special events like uh, bat baptisms, um, vacations, whatever. You can do it for just about anything. Yeah, so if you don't have the time to do it now, think about it for you know the upcoming months, birthdays and other holidays. Mm -hmm. But if you are like me, you just realize there's five other people that you should have on your list and you didn't get a gift for them. And if you're out of money, this is a great way to do it. So where did you get the plates? I got these plates from uh, the Dollar Tree. And so all of these were a dollar. One dollar. And then the pictures just right from my home printer. They don't have to be good quality or anything because as you see when you decoupage them, it gives them kind of that rustic vintage mm -hmm. look to it. So I just take it right from my home computer. Okay, and then you used all your extra scrapbook supplies. Right, yep. Okay, so if you have a lot of the scrapbook papers and the embellishments, now is a chance to get them out and use them mm -hmm. in another project. So how do you do it? All right, well, what you do is you start off by printing off a picture that you want to use for me and the Bella. center. <laughs> Bella and, and me. So, um, Rachel, I'll just have you unscrew the cap. This okay. is a, a decoupage. It's Mod Podge, and it comes in several different sizes. They even have, like, some that are shimmer, glitter. I saw that. Does yeah. it matter what kind you use? Um, well, for this, since you're going to be doing it on the back side of the plate, I use just the gloss luster okay. because um, it gives it just a little bit of shine to it so okay. I like that. Do I turn this um, over? Turn it over. Yep. And then you're just going to do a, a thin layer right on the back side there. Okay. Just on this part right here for yep. now. And you'll just cover it so um, enough area so that you can put this down. But it doesn't have to be perfect, right? No. Nope. Eventually I'll do the whole thing. Yep. That's what's okay. so fun about this is it's, you, you know. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay. very, very easy. Yep. Lay like that, that down there. Okay. And then what I do is I go over it with another layer of Mod Podge. So you can just do that on the, the corners for now. Just to secure it down yeah. there? Just to okay. save some time. Okay. And then what um, I do is I have a lot of these. You can get these scrapbook papers from any store, um, Hobby Lobby, any craft store, mm -hmm. really. Um, and they, what's neat is they have some smaller sized ones like this where you don't have to waste a huge um, piece of paper um, such as this. So okay. They come in two different sizes, really. This is a, a very popular size. I actually have a drawer of scraps. Like oh, yeah. From my, my paper projects, and mm -hmm. then I just kind of keep some of the scraps, so that right. would work, too. Yep, and so um, that's what I did here. I had some okay. scrap pieces of paper. Whoops. Okay. Um, and then I just cut different shapes. I cut squares, um, triangles. Okay. So then what you're going to do is just lay down, start laying those pieces down. Okay. Um, and always just start off with a layer of the, the decoupage, the Mod Podge, and then just start oh, okay. layering it. You don't want to forget that part. Nope. And so then uh, what's neat is at the end you have all these different colored pieces of paper. And, um, oh, look how cute that is. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's, and that's what makes it unique. Um, and then what, when you get to the corners, you okay. can let it overhang the edge of the plate. This is what it's going to look like on the back side. Um, and then all you have to do is, when you're done is start trimming around the plate like this. So again, you can be as messy as imprecise as you want because that is such end, a great gift. And you can give up. a plate stand with it if yep. you want. Yes. Uh, and what's nice is you can do different holidays. This one is obviously Christmas mm -hmm. themed. Um, you can do uh, one for every month if you want. Oh, that's and then a cute idea too. Change it out throughout the year. Um, and then in the end, uh, if you want, you can also just. Uh, jazz them up a little bit. These were at the dollar store as well. Um, and what I did here is I just hot glued them right on the front of the plate. So it's just a decorative piece, not for right. actual eating. Mm -hmm. Really quick, before, because we're just about out of time. Look at what you did. If you don't have time to do the pictures and you just have a little bit of paper, you could get these at the dollar store right. too, right? Mm -hmm. or, or any um, discount store, wine glass, and then she decoupaged a piece of paper on the bottom and then you could do a different paper for each glass. Right. And everybody then remembers. Mm -hmm. You see that? <laughs> Which glass they have. That's so cute. I love that. That's very clever. Tasha, thank you so much. Um, and how much did it cost you to make one plate? Well, a lot of these supplies I, ha I had at home, but if you don't have the plates, um, it can cost you as little as $11. Wow. Look at that. There's the money that she spent, total $11. But right, if you have all these supplies at home, you could do it for as little as a dollar. Tasha, thanks again. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you. and. 
You're going to need to get crafty. We'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.